What's up everybody, Steve here. I'll put a link for this article that I came across and the title was, Did the Fed Wait Too Long to Fight Inflation? Uh, it goes on to say, experts think it may be it may be forced to increase interest rates more than three times this year. Ultimately, when they do this, it's going to raise rates for consumers and businesses. So it's going to, for one thing, get more difficult to get loans. And another thing, the purchasing power is going to be different because the, the cost of money is going to be a lot more expensive. Also, I've been stressing this in other videos that if you guys are in any kind of adjustable mortgage or any kind of adjustable rate for any kind of consumer debt, make sure that you guys figure out how you can eradicate that debt or put it into some sort of fixed loan because those rates are going to increase and they will do it overnight so just be prepared for that so once they increase interest rates what's gonna happen it's ultimately gonna slow growth people are gonna spend less money they're gonna borrow less money that means they're gonna buy less stuff in the market and other businesses are gonna be affected the financial uh, markets are gonna be disrupted and ultimately it could cause a recession and I think the Fed is up against the wall they're in January this month month they um, they cut quantitative easing in half in terms of asset purchases so not only are they gonna re-up bonds they're ultimately slowing down on purchasing of assets they're stating that all purchases are gonna come to an end which is ultimately gonna basically stop the the floodgates of money going into the system that's the only thing that the Fed can do at this point in time because if they don't do it we're gonna see inflation run rampant even more than it is right now and and also my anticipation is I think we're gonna see inflation go up even more even higher because we're not feeling the full effect of all this money that's already in the system that really hasn't trickled down yet so I think that ultimately we're gonna see consumer prices go up even further so again this is a great time to reorganize create a budget for yourself and figure out how you guys can eradicate any kind of consumer debt get into fixed loans fixed rate interest rate loans and be sure that you guys are doing everything you can to get out of consumer debt personal liability personal overhead because ultimately that is gonna affect you guys in buying cheap assets in the future if we do go into some sort of recession or a depression a lot of people are going to be giving up they're not going to be able to pay for certain assets like a boat a car real estate uh, stocks bonds small businesses there's going to be a lot of discounted assets on the market if you guys are prepared for it you guys can get into those markets when the market does crash anyway i appreciate every subscriber on this channel thanks a lot for being here i'll see you guys on the next one